So I'm gonna give you two powerful ways to jumpstart your debt freedom program, you know? And um, I'm gonna get right into it after that. If you need anything, reach out to me, I'm here for you. So here's what it is. Number one most important thing, absolutely hands down without question, is actually creating a budget. And the best way that I've found in this day and age to create a budget, because most people are on digital and not using cash, they're using credit cards or debit cards, cut up the credit cards, um, you want to use mint.com, M-I-N-T.com, super awesome app. Um, if you've never used it before, the first time you use it, go on a computer, you plug in your um, bank information. I've been using it for over a decade. I've had no issues whatsoever. It's highly secure. The same people uh, into it owns the company. Those are the same people that does TurboTax and all of that. So you want to go download mint.com and it will download for you the last three months of transactions and categorize it for you so you can have like a wake up call epiphany and go there's no way that I spend that much money in that category, whatever that category is for you. So a lot of the times when I have my people do that, it's all the wake up call they need to say there's no way I spend $300 a month on coffee, let's say or I, there's no way that I spend $1,000 a month on restaurants, okay? Once you know where your money is going, it'll give you power around having it go where you want it to go. And that's half the battle. Instead of just literally wondering, now you know. So a budget actually sets you free, even though in the beginning it might seem a little restrictive. And then you want to go through the entire budget and just say, do I need this? Do I want it? Can I get rid of this? Can I get rid of that? And what you want to do is you want to eliminate all the frivolous spending. Or maybe look at your cable bill and say, can I really, you know, am I watching TV that much or can I just get Netflix for eight bucks or nine, whatever it is? You know, and then what you do with all that extra money, all that extra savings is create an emergency fund, at least a thousand dollars and build on that until you have, so this is number two, emergency fund, build on that emergency fund, you know, until you have, you know, three to six months of actual bills saved, cash, liquid. So the, the rationale there is a lot of people I talk to have an emergency credit card. Okay, that's dangerous because if a tire goes and the first thing you do is pull out your emergency credit card, then that, and you're gonna pay it off as soon as the bill comes, right? And then something else happens and something else happens and this happens and what, and then pretty soon, you know, three years later, you're $10,000 in debt. So you want to take at least minimum $1,000 from all the savings that you're gonna find from budgeting and slam it into an account savings account that is just cash readily available and next time you fall into any type of an emergency cash wise you use that instead of the credit card and then you replenish that emergency fund ASAP okay so that's my two top tips to start your you know your your debt freedom program your debt freedom plan reach out to me I always get back to everybody that reaches out to me I'm happy to do it I'm super grateful for you guys. Hope all is well. If you need anything, I'm here. Have a great night. Bye.